Hello, welcome to my vlog. Today is my day off and I'm going to show you what I do on my day off. So I've actually just taken the, I have two kids, four and one. I've taken them to daycare slash preschool and then I went straight to the shops. I'm a bit sweaty because I just cleaned the house, not cleaned the house, but I vacuumed and tidied because it was stressing me out. So I went to the shops with my fetch bags. I always have it linked down below. It's my business of reusable bags, but how cute are they? First things first, because I want to put it in the fridge, I bought myself lunch. And my cousin getting it, well, today's the first day of summer, isn't it? Today's the first day of summer. And so I was like, I bought myself some seafood for me and me only, because my family, like my husband and children, oh no, my children like prawns. My husband's not really into seafood. My family though, like my blood family, we love seafood. So I bought myself six oysters. Oh, they gave me lemon. Bread rolls. These ones are so cute. High fiber, low GI lunchbox rolls from Baker's Delight. They look really fresh. Um, oh, I bought some fish for dinner. And sardines, because they're nice and cheap. And I bought myself prawns. So that's gonna be my lunch, and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go put all of that in the fridge, and then I'll show you what I got. I went to Big W. So BRB. Right. I'm literally on top of the world because I'm alone. Um, if you don't know, for basically Sunday, Monday, Vinny's here on Sunday, but like Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm with the kids for 48 hours alone and they're really hyper and I just, I'm very grateful for Wednesday. <laughs> Let's just say that. I'm a very organized person. I like things to be in order. Okay, so I went to Big W and I bought a couple of gifts. Oh, I went to the reject shop too. Um, I bought a couple of gifts for Christmas. These are for the kids in the backyard. I didn't get those big ones because they're tiny humans. I think these were like $3 each or something. So one each there. They're gonna love that. They love when I spray them with the hose. So I think they'll enjoy, enjoy that. Oh, I went to um, Chemist Warehouse too. Oh, I did way more than I thought, but I'll show you the gifts first. And then Ivy's just been banging on about slime. I hate, there's no no more Play-Doh in the house because it just gets everywhere. Slime, I think, might be a little bit better. I don't know, but I bought her slime for Christmas. She wanted pink and blue because they're her favourite colours, and I found this one. So, Lord help me on Christmas morning. Um, okay, I went to the reject shop and I bought some little jars. My plan, I don't know how we're gonna go, but my plan is, I bought three of these little ones. Um, I'm hoping by Christmas time, I'll have a cucumber harvest and I was gonna make some pickles, three jars. On Christmas day, I'm gonna have my mum and her partner, my nan and pop, and then my auntie and uncle, my mum's brother and sister-in-law. And I thought I'd make them each a hamper, so three different hampers of, Thoughtfulness. So I was going to make pickles. I bought these to make like a maybe a chili and garlic infused oil, maybe some rosemary, some herbs. Um, so I got, and then I'll make myself one because they came in a two pack. So three of, or four of those. Um, I'm going to make like banana bread or pumpkin bread, something like that, and just make make a really nice homely hamper. Um, I just don't think we need a million gifts at Christmas time and I feel like this is really thoughtful I've put my time and effort into it. So I thought that would be a really good gift. I would love to receive that. I know my nan would love that because, you know, they're all little things that you can just eat. We don't need more things. So, yeah, that's what I got from the reject shop. From Big W. Oh, I forgot. I was at Big W. I got some more shorts. These are only $7. I have two pairs of bike shorts already, but they're both bad. So one pair is from Kmart from like two years ago and the stitching at the thighs are all effed up. Um, so they just roll up my thigh every time I walk. So I need to actually like throw them out. Um, and then the other pair I have a really long, they're like an awkward length on my short body. So I thought these look like a really good length. Um, I just like to wear these around the house a lot. Or if I wear them out, I'm going to the shops with a baggy t-shirt. But that's about it. I don't wear them for fashion. Um, and then I got this active wear. Active wear. Active wear. 
um, from Big W. You know the circuit? Is that Michelle Bridges brand? I've bought from them before and it's not bad. So these are the size 18 though, so I don't know. I'm not actually an 18, but because they're stretchy. <laughs> They didn't have these in the plus size, but I love the orange because I got it with the matching top. And it was really affordable. So this was like $15. And then I think these were $20. Yeah. So that's a $35 set, which is really good. And it feels like good quality. Um, moisture wicking, phone pockets, high waisted stretch fabric. Love that. Yeah, you can put your phone in here. Because I have another pair that I got like a size 22 and they're way too big. Um, I'm about a 20, I'm a 20, so this is pushing it, but we will see, I just love the colour, oh, it went into the chair and I thought it was going to slip off, but it didn't, um, and I'm just noticing, I didn't even notice, this has an inbuilt crop into it, so I love that even more, oh I love that, I can't wait to wear those. So that's what I got there. And then I went to Chemist Warehouse. So, I went to Chemist Warehouse because I want to try the Bondi Sands oil cleanser, balm, whatever you call it. Couldn't find it. Um, and then also this morning I saw on TikTok, I cannot remember her name. She's a so Australian influencer. If I find, I'll find a video, I favorited it, and I'll link it down below. She was gatekeeping this W7. Um, she's like full luxury as well. This She was gatekeeping this W7 concealer. And I wanted it because she's like, I've been wearing this for 12 hours. She was really oily. She said it hasn't creased nothing. So I was like, well, I want to try that. I went there. There were four different types of concealers at W7 stand. It's a big one at my chemist warehouse. None of them were this one. It was an orange top for sensitive. It was like a sensitive one. They had all of everything but that. Like they didn't even stock it. It's not like it was out of stock. So I didn't get it. But I've got some other W7 things. So I got this um, light diffusing concealer. There were no shades. So I just took a risk. I think it was only $5. Everything was $5 that I got. Oh, I thought the um, I thought this was $10. Cool. All right, there you go. So I got this. I'm going to try it in a video today. We, I'm going to do all Australian drugstore makeup video, which will most likely be up before this vlog. I don't actually know what order I do things. I just do them as I feel them. Um, but I'm going to use these. I got this um, W7 foundation. I've tried the, um, you know that really full coverage one in the big massive tube? I tried that once and it was horrible. Um, but since then... They've extended and gotten a little bit better, I feel. Don't you guys think? So this is the it's Glow Time Radiant Foundation. And there was probably like six shades. Most of them light to medium, but there were some darker shades. Surprisingly, I got Ivory Glow. The second lightest shade. It wasn't the lightest. And then this, they have little testers now as well, which is amazing. Um, like little minis. They had a little mini tester of this powder and it looked really nice. This is the... Got a Glow Translucent Luminous Setting Powder. Super excited to try that. And it looked, it had very fine shimmer in it. But often like the hourglass one is like that. I'm going to use a dupe for the hourglass. But the glitter doesn't actually come off on your face. So it's interesting. The hourglass one I'm talking about. So um, I got those to try in a video. So that's everything that I got. And now I want to show you. I'm going to sit down for this one. I'm going to show you. I got all of this PR over the past couple of weeks. I'm going to show you. And I have more coming. I don't even know what's going on. All of a sudden, these brands are noticing me. on tic It's all TikTok, let's be honest. Um, and they're all contacting me. I'm getting contacted like, all, like every day now. So <laughs> it's pretty exciting. So I'm going to show you what I got. And this massive box is from... You know the one, how do I say it, a 12? A 12, all right, I'm gonna sit down and show you everything that I got. I actually can't sit down for this, but um, they let me pick out a product and then do a TikTok on it. So what I'm gonna do with this is, um, I'm going to, my project pan, I have like the little drawer set and it's really gross. So I'm gonna switch it out for this. Project pan slash shop my stash, like products that I'm trying out and playing with. 
that I have on top of my vanity. Um, this is where this will go. So I'm going to show it to you. I haven't actually taken it out yet. Um, and I'm going to film that today. So it does say that the so that it doesn't break. The knobs are on the inside. I just have to um, fix it. <gasps> As I want it to be, this is a hard product to ship. I'm not going to do it right now, but basically I just have to flip, flip this onto this side. How cool is that? So big thank you to Etoile. Is that how I pronounce it, Etoile? I'm thinking it's French. Oh my God, it's just stunning. I can even put like eyeshadow palettes in here. It's quite big and beautiful. So I am so glad I got that. And then I got um, some socks from Pear, P-A-I-R-E. This is an Australian sock company. I was going to wear them today, but I was like, no, I have to do content on it first. I've already opened them, uh, but they sent me three pairs. And they're so cute. Each one says, good feels. They're very cute. They're like a, a blend of merino wool. Australian merino wool and or certified organic cotton. Stretchy and then it's thicker at the, uh, what do you call this, toes and heel. It's a really good quality. Um, I have a discount code. I have everything linked down below as well. Um, I have a little discount code section at the moment. So these are like a really nice blue and these are like calf, calf length. These I think are like my favorite. They're so cute. These are ankle. No, yeah, ankle, but not anklets. They also say good feels. It's like a off-white, like a bone color. And um, these are super cute. Same level of quality, same material. Um, I'll probably wear these a lot. And then I'll probably wear these a lot too. These are just your black anklets. Um, also say good feels. I can wear these to work because I have to wear all black to work. Go so check it out if you want some good quality Australian socks. And then I got um, from Luna Bronze, which is the tanning company. They have a new product, and then they also sell the tanning products. So their new product, I didn't actually get this product. What am I talking about? The Luna Bronze Contour Blending Brush. They sent me the face serum, though, so I'm going to show you that. But that's the new brush. So they sent me the Good Night Face Bronzing Serum, which I'll definitely use. Um, I actually want to shave my body tonight and um, put on some of this. This is the Glow Tanning Moisturizer. And everything smells like mandarin, lemon myrtle, and orange blossom. It's a natural and organic gradual tanning moisturizer designed for everyday use, containing a blend of ultra nourishing and hydrating oils. Glow will moisturize and replenish your skin whilst building a natural, even tan, delivering amazing skincare benefits. I think I'll use both of these tonight. You can get this at Mecca, by the way, if you're interested. I'll definitely update you on what I think about it. it smells nice. They also sent me the Eclipse Tanning Mousse. I got the shade Mediums. So yeah, I got that from Luna Bronze, which is so cool. Vita Glow. So they sent me the new um, a deep solution for acne prone skin. Now, it's not just for acne prone skin. Um, this is available, a Vita Glow is available online or at Adore Beauty as well as in store at David Jones and Maya from 85 Australian dollars. So I'm sure you guys have heard of this brand. This product here, they sent me two uh, capsules and it's called Clear Advanced Repair. A daily ingestible capsule that reduces the symptoms of acne and breakouts to restore skin clarity with probiotic active absolute absolute ac acne soul sorry so the benefits um relieve symptoms of acne decrease pimples blackheads and oily skin soothes skin inflammation nourishes good gut flora and supports wound healing so it's just good for your immune um, and anti-inflammatory i believe um, but I think I will try this as just an overall health supplement. It's got all the ingredients on the back. B5, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A, flaxseed oil, 
copper gluconate. All right, cool. And they're vegan friendly. Um, last thing I want to show you is the Aussie Biz Chick, which I paid for myself. It is an entrepreneur, um, women's entrepreneur business box. So everything is business related and you always get a book. Anyway, this one is like a really good one. So I wanted to show you, I think maybe because it's Christmas time. I feel like we got extra. So you always get a book that's a female entrepreneur type book. This is Confidence Feels Like Shit. The truth about confidence and what it really takes to create it. Um, and then you get a lot of, lots of like office-y types of stuff. Um, I have a referral link down below if you are interested, if you wanted to start a business or you are a female business owner. Um, and it's really good. They have a learning hub for online learning. So they do interviews and they have modules of all things so marketing just everything i don't even know what to tell you they've got everything does it say it on here yeah masterclass with the writer of this book build your confidence in business and life there you go um but they are all saved and then you can watch them at whenever you want and they do that every month and there's also like actual workbook type activities it's really good um so i have a referral if you want to click it down below, it basically means that you get 25, I get $25 off my next box and you get 50% off your first box, which is even more than that. So it's like a win-win for both. Um, I got these little tabs. Um, I got this touch screen pen. I don't have an iPad, but if I did, I could use that. <laughs> um, there's always like some little, um, Brochure, brochures that businesses um, can put in there. Um, this is the bag bestie. It's like a little extra insert for your bag. I don't need that. I don't use massive bags. They overwhelm me. You always get a bookmark for your book with a quote. The hard days are what makes you stronger. I don't know about that. Sometimes I feel it makes me weaker. Okay, Pearly, thank you for giving smiles. We have a product from this company. 40% off your next order. So you get like little deals and stuff like that. So what we got is this whitening toothpaste, zero waste, 50% profit donated. I love things like this because I'll definitely use it. And it's good because if you love it, then you're more likely to um, repurchase. How cool is that? So, and then I'll keep this for if I ever want to order it, I get 40% off my next order. Uh, then we got, oh, I love this little desk fan definitely be using this and then USB charged. Oh my god, I'll 100% use this. And then, huh, it's never ending gifts. Granted, I've been holding these to show you guys. <laughs> Don't just get this all in one day. Um, Inspire Wellness Blends, natural and handmade. I could use this, a wellness blend. Is it for, is it, is it for stress? I want a stress one. Confidence Mist Inspire Wellness Blends. It is filtered water, witch hazel, wild orange, lemon, peppermint essential oils. What do I do with it? Avoid contact with eyes, inner ears, and sensitive areas. Okay, so maybe I'll just put it on my pressure points. Hmm. Oh, that's quite nice. I might actually put that next to my desk to just give me some confidence when I'm emailing. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll put that with the pen. Lovely. What am I going to do now? I'm going to film. I'm going to film that drugstore video I was just talking to you about. I need to do some emailing. It's just content. Basically, Wednesdays is shopping, cleaning content, shopping, cleaning content. That's basically my life. But after I do all of that, I'm going to go into the garden. It might rain. It's very overcast. Um, but we'll see how we go. Look at the state of my makeup room like i'm not that's not an exaggeration it has never looked so bad in my entire time that i've had makeup it is disgraceful i use these for videos like as storage so let's put that there but i've put it there because all of that needs to go away that's just the makeup i used for um my video hey here's the face um so I need to clean all of this up before I can even attempt to put this on the table. And I want to give everything a good clean 
shift the mirror down. All my brushes are disgusting as well. So I really need to reevaluate that everything is just abysmal. So this is what I had. It's usually here. Um, and I'm going to take all of this out. I might even use this as like a craft drawer for my daughter. seafood like I'm, I'm going nowhere I'm not driving it's just me myself and I and uh, I'm in the mood to treat myself I've been very stressed lately as I think a lot of people are at this time of year it's very stressful it's full-on work is full-on life is full-on so not that I need explain myself um, I just got this from Aldi I'm not I'm not gonna really advertise alcohol but I'm just gonna have a glass that's why I like at home. I like to have a glass of wine. Are you guys like that? Not every night because I want to keep a balance, but I think that'd be lovely. Right, I've got mayonnaise and tomato sauce. Do you guys, I think a lot of people know, but mayonnaise and tomato sauce, 50-50 portion. is seafood sauce. And it tastes 10 times better, 10 times better than the store-bought. The day I found this out, life-changing. And then you can also, if you like it a little bit sweeter, you can add more tomato sauce. If you like it more creamy, you have more mayonnaise. Yum. Oh, so excited. So excited for this day. What am I going to watch? I've been um, on season two of White Lotus. And um, I just watched the most recent episode. I figured out it comes out every Monday. Oh my god, something gets so juicy. So I loved season one, like I frothed for season one. Um, but season two, I was like, the one in Sicily, I was like, yeah, it's all right. It's a bit boring. It's getting juicy now. And I'm not going to say anything, no spoilers here. The cracks are happening because if you've watched White Lotus, it's all about the staff and the, what do you call people who stay at a hotel? The guests. <laughs> Um, they all have their own dramas and in the beginning everyone seems perfect and then the cracks open. Here are my Sydney oysters. Sydney oysters are my favourite oysters. I've tried other ones and Sydney will always be my favourite. I got 300 grams of prawns. I think that's going to be perfect. Look at this. Hashtag first day of summer. Oh yeah. Okay, here I have completed everything. Look how good it looks. You see my cleaning. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me take you a little tour. I'll link the product that I have. Isn't it beautiful? So this is the old one. It's disgusting. We had one, two, three, four, five shelves. This is one, two, three, four, five shelves, but I fit Oh my God, a quarter more. I got all of these eyeshadow palettes in that I would never have been able to fit in there. And I added the um, fake, fake tan drawer as well. So it fits so much more. But here's the chaos that I caused. <laughs> um, but I will clean that up. A lot of it's just rubbish. Um, that's not good lighting. So let's go out into the garden. I haven't actually been out today. And I'll show you just quickly. I'm not going to do a full tour. I'm just going to kind of show you a few updates. First update is these pots had the avocados that died this one survived these two died so i moved them into the sun next to the stairs those are three potatoes that were seeding they were the original seed potatoes i took them out when i harvested the other ones and then they started sprouting again so i thought hey i'm not going to eat them so i'll put them back in hopefully i get more potatoes out of the same seed potato that'd be cool amaranth planted this amaranth that was in a pot small one and then here we have zucchini 
and that amaranth was always in there but that it's going to get really big and tall and then this is kind of going to crawl out is my idea i removed and i'm eating a lot of the silver bean it grows so well it's so beautiful the kale i had to remove some of them they were just totally infested with um aphids and then you can see i chopped that one back and then i've still got two here so um that's okay because i'm kind of creating some space like these are going to be finished soon they're not really producing much anymore my corn is growing really well um that is a sunflower my first nasturtium flower it's so pretty i have this is okra growing really well now i've planted the basil and it's growing <laughs> rapidly that's the thai basil basil the um, parsley's doing really well too now this is the update i've put in all these structures homemade as you can tell just bamboo sticks that i have connected together with old pantyhose stockings they're great because they are flexible we have some beans these are rattlesnake beans i've already harvested a few there we go. aren't they beautiful and the um, sweet potato is now going wild which is cool because I was worried it wasn't going to. This is a volunteer tomato that just popped out and is growing insane. So I have attached that to a stake. Then we have one, two, three, and four. And then I made, look, it's just so amazing how beans wrap themselves. This one here. I'm trying to train to wrap around but that's going to go up I'm going to see if I can train it to do that and then I have one more here that I'm going when it gets long enough I'm going to try and train it up here like that I'm starting to get tomatoes because they're flowering I will show you but you can see I've kept the bottoms clear. I'm gonna actually take this one off so that they get good airflow and we don't get any disease because it's supposed to be raining a lot this summer. So I wanna keep them as dry as possible. We have a little cucumber, which is exciting. Another one, just there. Here are the tomatoes that are growing. I think these are the blueberry ones. I think they're small. They've got, they look like they are. But it is doing really well. For a small plant, it's got the most tomatoes so far. And I did this as well. So as it gets taller, I'll add just sticks that I can find. I'm actually going to use the avocado tree as stakes. Cut it up. But, um, yeah, it's doing well. And then my basil, I've harvested a few, quite a few leaves already. They're massive. I had one leaf that was this big. It's growing really, really well. And finally, I got a watermelon. This is the moon and stars watermelon. This one too, but this one looks like it's gonna die. This is my fourth attempt and I finally got it. I hope they grow in time. It stays pretty warm here even after summer, so that should be all right. Eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. That's the zucchini over there. And then capsicum. So my plan is when plan is when these are finally done, I'm going to move my capsicums and eggplants into here. 
hopefully with some compost. Hopefully that's my little compost there. Hopefully it'll be ready to put down. Oh, look at that, there's more. I thought they were dead. <laughs>